Okay, good morning, everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video because there are a few of you who are missing the plus sign in your DOM panel. Um, if you are one of those people, I have posted an announcement that um, has a link to the Adobe chat. I had tried to get on the chat with Adobe to see if they could give me an answer. However, because I'm not having the issue on my computer, they really need to talk to each of you individually. So please make sure you are doing that. I can't really find out what is causing this issue. Um, if you have not yet tried uninstalling Dreamweaver and reinstalling that, I would definitely suggest doing that as well to see if maybe there was an error in the install. Um, I'm just kind of perplexed as to why it's happening. I've looked at a few people's screens and it appears as though you are running Adobe Dreamweaver CC. I'm currently running the CC um, 2015 and there was an update a couple of months ago to um, 2015, I think it's 0.5. However, um, I had previously taught this course with just 2015 before that upgrade. So, and I didn't have that problem with the DOM panel. So I'm, I'm as perplexed as you. So I want to give you guys a, um, two other workarounds on how to add in that HTML. And I did want to remind you that all you are doing for your midterm is defining a site, the HTML is already written for you. You really just need to attach that um, CSS source and add in your CSS selectors to the HTML file that's already there. That is the midterm. So if you are concerned with the DOM panel during the midterm, that's not what you need to be doing. The DOM panel controls the HTML. The CSS selectors controls adding that CSS to your, um, to your midterm, to that website. So that is what you should be concerning yourself with, not the DOM panel. But if you were getting started um, on the coding of your site, for week three, this is where things might be a little bit different. So first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to um, define a site because I'm making a new site to show you how to do this. And I always, even though I could just make an HTML page, I always want to be in the habit of defining a site. So I am going to, I'm just going to put this on my desktop for right now. And I'm going to name it um, no DOM panel. And I'll get into the habit of also creating an images folder or adding an images folder. I did that through my local info. You guys have watched me do this a couple times. All right, there we go. Site, no DOM panel. I'm gonna do new HTML document, make sure it's HTML5. All right, so normally what we would be doing is we would have that plus sign right here, but we don't have that plus sign for some of you, which is a very, very, you know, kind of a bummer because this is the best part of the DOM panel. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to hand code in code view my um, putting my elements in. So my elements are going to go inside of my body tag, which is under my head. So I'm going to do an enter right after line eight, which if you are just following along with me, you, your lines at this point should be the exact same as mine because this code is put in automatically through Dreamweaver. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a div. So div. Make sure you put it inside these brackets. Always want to get into the habit of closing any element as soon as you open an element. So I'm going to do a bracket, backslash, um, div, and now close that element. And I am going to, inside of this div, I am going to put in a header and close my header. Oops with the backslash. As soon as you hit the backslash, it's gonna close the element automatically. 
And then inside of my header is where I'm going to put in my navigation and close my navigation. All right, so this div is the parent to this header right here, and this header is the parent to this nav. So if I go over to my DOM panel, I can see where it has added in these elements. Disregard the plus sign. These elements should be nested exactly like you see over here, body, then underneath and bumped over div, underneath and bumped over header, underneath and bumped over nav, and you can kind of close up your header. So underneath my, my end tag of my header, so line 13, I am going to add in my main section, so putting that in brackets and closing it. And then underneath my closed main section, so I'm going to hit a return, which brings me to line 16. I'm going to put in my aside, whoops, sure you spell everything correctly. And I'm going to close my aside. I'm going to hit return and I am going to put in my footer and close my footer. So going back over here, I can see I have my header, again, with my navigation nested, my main, my aside, and my footer. And if I go into the live section, it hasn't added in that um, dummy text because I didn't insert it through the DOM panel. So that's why you won't see any of that dummy text in there because you have just coded at this point. So if you want to start adding in um, navigation, what you need to do is you need to then add in that unordered list. So UL is your unordered list and end that list. Put in, whoops, hit enter. LI is one of the list items and you can put home. You wanna do another list item and close it. In between those tags, you can put about, do another list item, and close it. Um, we'll say services, and do another list item, and close it, and this can be contact. Whoops, contact. All right, so when I go into live view, now you can see my bulleted list for my navigation in my DOM panel, I can see my unordered list, my four list items. So let's say I want to add in some paragraph text in my main section. I'll hit enter after. Everything needs to go in between your opening and closing code. So I'm gonna hit enter after my open for my main and I'm gonna do my bracket with a P for paragraph and I'm gonna end it. And right in between there, I can start to type in there we go. If you see red, that's an error. So watch if I didn't put, close my bracket and I went just back up. You can see that I'm going to get an error because I haven't closed that element. So that's how you know that you've forgotten to close an element, just to let you know when you're in the code view. So in here, I'm going to put, this is my main section. This section will not have formatting yet because I have not added any CSS to it. And I'll go into live view and I can see everything I've added in in that paragraph. If I go into my DOM panel, I can see that paragraph right there. So I'm gonna go back into code view. I'm gonna do the same thing in my aside. I'm gonna hit enter, put in a P tag for my paragraph and close it. And I'm gonna say, this is my side bar. This section will not have formatting either because I still have not added any CSS to this page. Go into my live view. I can see that text I have added in. And then for my footer, put in paragraph, close it, and I'm just gonna say, this is the copyright to my page. All right, so that is how you would hand code in the, co in the code um, view of your website if your DOM panel is not showing that plus sign. So that is the way that you would hand code all of this. All right, so I'm gonna take out 
all of these elements I just put in. So delete from div to div. There we go. To live view, everything's gone. Everything's out of my DOM panel. I'm gonna change it to split view. And over here where it says CSS designer files or insert, I'm gonna to go to the insert panel. And under the dropdown for HTML, I'm going to use these insert div, insert paragraph, insert headline um, to insert the different items that I hand coded before. So the first thing I want to do is I want to insert a div. So right there, and it says content for new div goes here. And I can just kind of delete out that content. I'm going to put the div on. Um, one line, two different lines, you know, the opening and closing tags. Inside of this div, I'm gonna hit enter, because I'm in split code view, and I want to insert my header. So I'm gonna click insert header, and I'm gonna say, at insertion point, I'm not gonna give it a class or an ID right now, I'm just gonna hit okay. And it says content for new header goes here. While that's still selected, I'm gonna hit enter, I'm just gonna move that header, um, close tag to a second line, I'm gonna hit enter again, and in here, again, I'm gonna insert my navigation. So I'm gonna go insert, navigation, at insertion point. I'm, I'm going to disregard the class and ID right now because I'm gonna do that later. I'm just gonna hit okay, and it's gonna say content for new nav tag goes here. Again, I'm gonna hit enter and go up to the top and hit enter again, just to give myself some space. This is where I'm going to insert my UL, my unordered list. So it says UL, I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna go back up to the opening tag, I'm gonna put some spacing in between it, I'm gonna say list item. Hit enter again, first list item, home. Then I'm going to go to the end of this tag, the backslash li, I'm gonna hit enter. So I have a space now between this first list item and the closing of my unordered list right here. I'm gonna add in another list item. And I can say about, you don't need to bump it to the next line. I personally like to do it this way. Some people like to leave the, the opening and closing tags just like this, it's real. this is really a preference at this point. Either way, as long as you have that opening and that closing tag and everything is within your unordered list element, you'll be fine. Next will be services, and last but not least will be contact. All right, so I've got my navigation nested inside of my header. I'm gonna hit enter after my header. And the next thing I'm going to add in right here is my main. I'm gonna say add insertion point. Again, I'm gonna disregard this and I'll hit okay. And where it says content for new main tag, I'm gonna say this is my main section. I have not added CSS again. And I'll hit, I'll go to the end of that element. I'm gonna hit enter and I will add in my aside, hit okay. I'm gonna say, this is my sidebar. That's all I need to say for that, because we've done this a couple of times. I'm gonna hit enter one more time, and let's see, and add in a footer. And I'll say, this is my footer. So, those are the two ways that you can add in, whoops, and as you can see, I did the wrong, I hit the wrong code, Right here, I added in an unordered list and an unordered, whoops, and an unordered list. So I need to go back in, delete this and delete this and change that to, I clicked on the wrong thing, list item to add that bullet point. Always make sure you click it on the right thing because you can see what happens when you don't. List item, contact, there we go. All right, so this added in the same exact code just through the insert panel, as opposed to handwriting it in. So these are the two ways that you can add in that HTML code if your DOM panel is not showing this plus bar. 
So I just wanted to make this quick video. If anybody else, I know there's about four people that I am aware of at this point that are having this issue. Please let me know if you do contact Adobe support and let me know what they say. Also, if you try uninstalling your Dreamweaver and reinstalling your Dreamweaver, please let me know if that works. This is the first time I have been alerted to this issue is during this mod. So if anyone has figured out um, what has worked to fix this problem, please let me know so I can let everybody else know as well. All right. Again, if you have any any questions, please feel free to email me. Please make sure that you are looking at the announcements because I posted an announcement giving a couple of extra days for that midterm. I will not mark any midterm late that is received before Wednesday. However, be aware that your entire coded website is due during week three, as well as adding in those media queries. So do not wait to work on this midterm just because you have a couple of extra days. It will end up really causing you issues next week. So um, good luck, everyone. Um, and let me know if you're running into any more problems. Have a great rest of your day.